Hello and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today, it is all about how to grow and care for the Calathea rosapicta plant. The Calathea rosapicta is a tropical plant that is native to Brazil, Peru, and Colombia. It is a popular houseplant because of its striking foliage. It prefers moist but well-drained soil and high humidity. Though not indigenous to the Americas, it is easy to grow indoors and adapt well to different environments. It is a beautiful addition to any garden or home. With its lush, green foliage and striking red and purple undersides, it is sure to bring beauty and elegance to any setting. This houseplant is primarily ornamental, particularly popular in Hawaii. These plants are averse to intense sunlight so put them in some partial or complete shade if possible. Sunlight in the morning or diffuse sunlight brings excellent results. This plant is perfect for an indoor garden. Watering in moderation is the key to success. Use distilled, filtered, or rainwater for this plant as it's sensitive and will get sick if exposed to any chemicals. In winter, be even more conservative with the water. Ensure that the soil remains moist but don't let it get soggy and keep proper drainage channels. It constantly needs a lot of humidity for better growth. Sometimes, light misting can also go a long way to maintaining humidity. Keep this plant in a room with temperatures ranging from 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit since it needs warmth for growth like many other plants. Avoid places where there are sudden temperature fluctuations. In addition to regular maintenance, feed it with a high nitrogen fertilizer for three weeks in spring and summer. Then, in fall and winter, try to give the plant monthly feedings to provide it with something to combat the winter conditions. This plant propagates by division. It is a complex plant to divide, so wait until the root ball gets large and expect it'll take some time to grow. Make sure that at least one leaf on each piece is present, which you will then plant in appropriate size pots. You can purchase the plant by tissue culture, which most gardeners do. This plant can also be propagated using stem cuttings, but this process is long and involves stringent conditions. Annual potting is the best way to keep your plants healthy and happy. Use a fast draining, balanced soil mix for annual repotting in spring so you can refresh their environment. Unfortunately, they often get depleted by overgrowth or sitting on shelves for too long. Peat-based potting soil is perfect for container growing. It can drain quickly and evenly and is lightweight in texture, so that it does not harm roots or damage delicate plants during the transplanting process. These plants are non-toxic to humans, dogs, cats, and horses. Red mites often take root in the leaves. Check your plant regularly for signs of infestation and try to get rid of them quickly.